Hey y'all, it's Jay and today I'm here with my Reading Rush TBR video. The Reading Rush used to be called Booktubeathon and it is created by Ariel Bassett and Raylene. So I'll leave the link down below to their channels. I don't think Raylene makes videos anymore, but whatever links are down there, that's that's what you should check out. This is a readathon that is taking place from July 22nd to July 29th with a bunch of challenges for us to try to complete. So I picked out some books. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first challenge is my favorite challenge of the entire thing because it is to read a book with the color purple on the cover and purple is my favorite color so you know I'm always going to try to embrace the purple in my life but I chose Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie which I am really excited to read because she wrote Ace of Shades which is one of my favorite books so I want to see where her first like debut novel was and like how her writing has like evolved throughout time and I actually think that this one sounds really cool it's about some girl who has the ability to like create illusions she's part of like the circus and then her illusions like come to life then one of them is murdered and it's like this huge mystery and like she has to save them and da 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 but I think it sounds really cool so I'm really excited about it second challenge is to read a book in one place the entire time so I'm going easy and picking a graphic novel so that I can actually read the whole thing in one sitting because if I don't I'm gonna read somewhere else but I'm choosing the second book in the Adventure Zone graphic novel series. I don't know how many books are going to be in this series but this is the second one. It is Murder on Rockport Limited and this is by Clint McElroy, Griffin McElroy, Justin McElroy, Travis McElroy, and Carrie Pitesh. Pitesh, I don't know how to say that. But this is basically a graphic novel that follows these brothers who play Dungeons and Dragons with their dad as well. They have a podcast which they have turned into a graphic novel format. But I read the first one, gave it five out of five stars. I loved it so much. I love the characters. I think they're so funny. So I'm really, really excited to see where the story progresses from here. I've never actually listened to the podcast, but I've heard they're really good. But I really like... The graphic novel version so gonna be reading this too. The next challenge is to read an author's first book so I am choosing Wild Old Girls by Rory Power. All I really know about this one is that it's like a YA horror really gory book but I'm here for it. I've heard incredible things and I also love this cover so I just really want to get to it because I want to be on the hype train. Books and Lala loved it. She was raving about it on her channel and I usually really enjoy the books that she enjoys so we're gonna pick this one up too. The next challenge was to read a book that you meant to read last year so I could pretty much just like reach behind me and pick any book on my shelf but I saw one in my other room over there which has like my audiobooks and I was like ooh I really want to read that so it is The Bells by Danielle Clayton. Ever since this book came out I've really wanted to pick it up and just have not yet and I saw that it was available on Overdrive so I was like we gonna do that right now. This is my excuse to read it. So we gonna read it. The next challenge was a little bit tricky for me. It was to find a book with the main character that is not a human. So I've read a couple of them but I'm not a huge fan of rereading books so I was like we need to find a new one. So I looked on my shelf and I noticed that there was a sequel that I read in like a mermaid trilogy and I was like "Ooh, have not read that book yet. Read the first one. I liked it so we might as well pick up the second book in the series to get it done. And it is Deep Betrayal by Anne Greenwood Brown. Like I said mermaid book. First book was Lies Beneath. Liked it, enjoyed it, was a good time. Read it back in like 2016 so not 100% sure if I'm gonna remember any of the details but we're picking up this one. Mermaids are not humans. Wish they were. Kind of half human but we're counting it as non-human. The next challenge is to read a book that has five or more words in the title. So I am choosing A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kremer and this is one of the books that have been on my shelf since it was released. Have not read it. Everybody loves it. Also the main character has CP which I work with kids who have CP so I just think it's like a really cool concept to have in a book so that they can also have that representation. So I'm really excited to see how the story goes for me and if I enjoy it. This is also a Beauty and the Beast retelling and your girl is obsessed with fairy tale retellings so I'm really excited about this as well. And then the final challenge. I'm kind of cheating a little bit but 
but it's fine. The challenge is to read a book with a movie adaptation and watch that adaptation as well. This is the way I'm cheating. I'm going to be reading Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han. The first book to All the Boys I've Loved Before has a movie. We're gonna watch that movie and we're gonna read this book. It counts. It's in the same series. This is the third book. I need to get it done because it's been sitting on my shelf forever and I just recently read the second book. I gave it a 3.5 I believe. Like it was good, not as good as the first book, but people have always said that the second book has like second book syndrome so I'm hoping that the third book is a little bit better. We'll see I guess. Alright guys so that was my reading rush TBR. Let me know down below if you guys plan on participating and what you plan to read for this readathon and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!